I've been doing a fair bit of uh, cob work, natural building recently. And uh, as I begin with, I started out with a load of cob, that, well, a load of clay that had been dug out of the ground ages ago. But I hit a point that all that had been used up and I needed somewhere new to dig clay. So rather than just make a general pit in the ground, I decided to go ahead and make a start on something that's uh, a bit more productive. So uh, if you're going to have a massive hole in the ground, you might as well try and keep water in it and call it a pond. But if you're going to do a pond on any sort of scale, it needs a keyway. And that's exactly what I've dug here. I mean, it's a good size. Let me show you what I've done. So the bottom half of it's filled with water just now, but that's about a foot deep, not very bad at all. That section there is just where I've cut the topsoil away in a nice square to get down to solid clay. And then I'll stand in that pit and mine that way until all that clay is down to, as I say, about a foot below the waterline. And then I'll remove the next set of topsoil, get down into the pit and dig forward again. And what I'm slowly doing is I'm digging a trench right down into the clay, maybe about, I don't know, 18 inches wide to two foot wide. And I'm going to do it all the way around and up to there. And I'm going to do the same all the way around to there. And I've got another uh, keyway dug in, ready to go. So what I'll do at that point then is I'll remove all the topsoil from here and then I'll start digging down, packing pretty much the same material that's come out of here, but packing that clay down into this trench and really, you know, ramming and packing it down until I'm back up to the existing height and then I can keep going because the central core of the uh, uh, earthwork that's going in here will be uh, solid clay, so it, you know, it'll hold water and we can bring the water level up to only about this sort of height behind it, so all this section here will be underwater and it'll have a pipe in it that allows me to drain it. And the whole purpose of this really quite big earthwork is uh, so that it means that, you know, this clay is really good for uh, building. It's really nice, good quality clay. But every time I want to get some, I've got to come out and dig a pit and, you know, incorporate, you know, or take a bit off the edge of an existing earthwork or whatever. So at this point, what I'll be able to do is dump the water down from this pond into the next swale and pond down into the system so that water isn't going away it's staying on site and then I've got access to a nice seam of clay that I can just come in and dig away at whenever I want because really I mean with a bit of sand added to it this is just free building materials I'll be crazy to not use it so basically I need a cob mine so if I'm going to dig a cob mine I might as well make it in a way that I mean it's going to take ages this will take years to complete probably but I might as well keep digging that clay in a, in a way that leads me to um, a means of uh, sourcing clay without having to dig a pit every single time. You know, it's an investment in time, so it's really a good example of stacking functions. And because this pond here will be fed by this top swale, well, sorry, between the, this swale here and the next swale up and then the top swale, all of those have got monks fitted. So I can, if I want to, have water that lands on that roof that lands into the top swale won't build up there because i can have the monk set low so that water instead of building up in that swale will run down and into the next swale and if i've got the monk set right on that one as well um, it won't build up there it'll run out of there into this uh, swale here which is the third one down so far it sits there i haven't got the means to bring it further down the landscape this pond will allow me to drain that water into this pond and then into the bottom swale so it will give me well sorry what was originally the bottom swale it's not anymore it's the willow swale we call this one now because it's where we're growing our bulk willow but it'll allow me to take in a major rain event if we haven't got much willow production that year because that's obviously our firewood it's quite important i can take any water that lands on that roof all the way over there and passively using gravity have it cascade down through the system and end up in that swale there and feed that willow which is a pretty uh, you know, a, a pretty useful feature that we can shunt water around and steer things, you know, across the landscape as much as we want. Now, it will differ slightly from that large pond there, which, hang on, I'll just walk up and show you. Because that pond there, in fact, hang on, let me show you this. This is where the removed topsoil is going. So we're just reinforcing that berm. It's currently got a load of uh, 
current cuttings put on it. See, that's one there. It's a little black current cutting because this has gone from something you can see we've grown willow on previously just as a run a couple of trials and these are just leftovers from that but it's going to transition to proper food forest soil this year but this pond here can be isolated from the entire chain so I can choose to have the water from this swale either go into this pond or get shunted on down now by the time I get to this swale in fact from up here it's a good place to view it so yeah there's the top swale that water can run down through any of these earthworks as far as this swale and after I've completed this I'll be able to take the water out of that as well into see it's quite a big pond that it's going to end up occupying but it'll take me years and years and years then that I can just go drain it get down into my pit and access the clay from the side because all this topsoil will have gone to reinforce this boom and grow loads of food and uh, yeah the best thing about this pond is really that it basically chains all of the systems from the very top pond um, right down through the whole system as far as this pond here and we've got plans to extend the chain beyond that again but the more connectiveness that you've got between your earthworks the more uh, few the more um, uh, the more useful they are the more capacity for uh, actually performing work that they've got it's uh yeah it's going to be an interesting system once it's finished but yeah this is a big one because of course it's being dug by hand and there's no denying that it will be probably the prettiest pond of this type you know fairly small one that we've got on the site just because it will have been dug by hand uh, you know you can have a really nice attention to detail but uh so yeah it's a stacking function in terms of effort if you're gonna have to dig a clay pit somewhere you might as well make it a clay pit that'll give you a whole load of functions